Hello, welcome, hello, so formal. Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Kate, I'm an artist. Um, and today though, we're gonna be doing a plant unboxing. I'm really, really excited, but I'm also a little nervous. Um, maybe didn't come in the best of shape, but that doesn't mean what's inside isn't okay. And on here, we've got the Florida Department of Agriculture and Consumer Services um, saying that it is nematode free. Yeah, it's that. So happy that it's free of that. Outside of hope, where believers can see. And there's only memories when it's over. Hi, I'm really nervous. Hi, so there is one plant in here. Um, they wrapped it with uh, this. Okay, and then it's a little wet right here. So hopefully the plant is okay. So here's the plant, you guys. So a long time ago, I um, was really into desert uh, rose, Adenium obesums. And I ordered some online and they came in great condition. Well, so if you don't know, I'm more of an outdoor gardener versus an indoor gardener, but I was ready for the challenge of indoor gardening. And I don't know about you guys, but I have like the little like gnats so bad. So I don't know what I'm doing wrong. I'm not over watering, so I don't know. Um, okay, so I, if you cannot tell, I'm a little obsessed with um, Calathea. So, shocker, spoiler alert, that's what we got today. It looks like it's in good condition. Do you see? Okay, let's keep hoping for the best. Oh my God, this... I thought I saw a nematode moving. This is in really good condition, you guys. Look at this. It's in really good condition. I'm so excited about this. Okay, so they've wrapped this little thing here. This is actually good for me because I have so many plants and succulents. I, I kind of want to um, like start selling them online, so I always look to see how people do things. But this is so exciting, you guys. Look at this. You guys, we need to take a moment of silence. Okay, let's just take a look. You ready? It's in my hands. I've been waiting for this day for a while now. I cannot even believe it. I, it is as gorgeous as I would hope it would be. Um, it has very little, very little brown tipping, which is like pretty amazing because it came from Florida. I mean, there's like tiny, like, let me see if you can even see it. Do you see a little bit there? And there's a couple other places where it's like brown. I don't know if you could see that, but like here on the tip, it's a little bit brown. But this plant is in very, very good condition. I've seen a lot of your plant unboxings, because um, I do watch all the plant videos, and um, you guys order from some like places that I think maybe aren't as reputable, like Hertz or Taylor's or things like this, and then the plants come and they're either dead or there's like one leaf left. Um, so I would be super frustrated. So I went with something that I know, like a place that I know has a good, good reputation. Like they are known for their plants. So, and I really appreciate because Enid had emailed me and said, hey, I'm really sorry, but your other two plants, which by the way, if you wanna know what I got, you're gonna have to check back because um, I'm not gonna tell you just yet, but definitely check back because they're, they're gonna be pretty amazing actually. Um, so she said, hey, listen, those aren't ready. Do you want me to wait and send all three together or do you want me to send the Calathea now and then the other two when they're ready? And I was like, send the Calathea now. So um, yeah, a couple days later, it's in my hands. Oh, And so 
Why do I love Calathea? So I'm gonna tell you, the first Calathea I got was the one that I think all of us get, right? And it was the Calathea medallion, which you can't see, but it's over there. Um, I need to install that. I need to install that uh, air conditioner at some point. But anyway, um, so yeah, I got that Calathea, and then I got this Calathea, the rattlesnake one. And you can just see, like, he's happy. Now, if you watch Kaylee Ellen, you know this is not a real true rattlesnake plant. It's just kind of what everybody calls it, right? But it's so cool. Now, I I have the issue of like the gnats inside the soil. So if you're wondering what that white stuff is, that's what it is. But like, look how happy that guy is. He's super happy. And um, it kind of looks like he's giving you guys the finger. <laughs> I don't know, am I the only one who thinks that? But I, the one, one of the reasons I love Calathea is for its like purple undersides. I just, that was when I knew and then just how big they get with like the foliage. Like, are you kidding? Like, I just love Calathea. But there is one thing that I'm curious about is I think there's something in this soil which is like a super bummer. Um, Cause I bought it at Walter Anderson Nursery here in San Diego and I totally trust them. But every time I take it like out of, this is the Ikea pot and it doesn't have um, like a hole at the bottom, thankfully, um, because what happens is when I water it um, or I take it out to like check it, there's all these weird little like brown, um, they look like they roll up almost like a roly poly would, but they're not thick like a roly poly and they have a ton of legs. So I'm thinking they're like centipedes or millipedes. And I don't know if that's good for the soil or bad for the soil, but I'm taking the chance that it's bad because I don't have time to research. So I cut them in half and then dispose of them. So if that's not right and they should be in here, let me know, but they are just, they are gross. Um, I'm all for like insects doing their thing, but I am not about that in my house. So yeah, hypocrite much. <laughs> But anyway, I do love Calathea. So I have my Calathea here. Um, I just got this guy a couple months ago, my prayer plant. Like how beautiful is this guy, right? This guy is, he's standing up and then we've got like a new one here. Like I, this guy's so happy, like, hi. <laughs> okay, but I didn't, this is supposed to be just about my white fusion. <laughs> I need to focus. So now that they're back in their homes. Um, so yeah, I'm like really excited. Now I know everybody's got their preference and like so many of you love Hoyas, but Hoyas just remind me so much of succulents and I have so many Hoyas uh, as succulents. So, but I do have one Hoya. <laughs> if you wanna see these plants, let me know. I could do like a tour. Um, if you wanna see my outdoor garden, let me know I could do a tour out there. But I, um, I, the one plant that I just cannot get behind is begonias. <laughs> I think begonias are so ugly. <laughs> Begonia community, don't come for me, okay? Anyway, this was my mini plant haul. I have two more coming. I did order these from NSC Tropicals, as I said before, and um, I just hope you really enjoyed this video. Okay, so I got this pot here, and I kind of think this is gonna be a really good fit. Like, how pretty is this pot, you guys, okay? So I am gonna take off all the, like, um, the paper towel and stuff later, but let's put her in. You ready? What do we think? What do you guys think? I mean, it looks pretty good. Wait, let me move her around a little bit. You know, she might be a little bit small in a small pot and it's maybe that's why it's moving around a bit, but yeah, I like it. I like the blue with the green and the white. I'm into it. So look at that guy. Oh, so pretty. I think I might put it on my table here. Please excuse all my art stuff. Um, let's see. I'm gonna put it here on the table. Oh, yes. Hello. Let me put that there. Yeah, wait. What do you guys think? Okay, I... I'm down with that. Yeah, that was my plant unboxing, <laughs> unboxing of one. But um, I really am excited about this plant. I don't know if you like, if that transferred to camera, but so excited. And I think too that, you know, um, okay you guys, so that was my plant unboxing, my one plant. <laughs> 
I am so excited. I can't wait for the other two to come. I am nervous about keeping one of the other two alive. Um, I had asked this um, Kaylee Ellen, who I watch, I, I follow her Instagram too. I had asked her, you know, hey, what about this plant? Do you know too much about it? And she was like, oh, that plant is very, very rare. Like you have a really good cart of plants, um, a good mixture. So. Um, I'm really excited for them to come so definitely check back because I will upload that and then you know I try to upload like if I go somewhere like a big event I try to put it on this channel so um, I'll be going to DragCon uh, coming up so I'll definitely post that just like last year and um, obviously art videos will be coming I kind of need to work on getting some artwork sold before I put some stuff online um, because I am pretty superstitious about people taking ideas and what I do is completely unique and different. So um, eventually those will come. And um, yeah, like if you wanna see what it's like to kind of get started as an artist, like that's kind of where I'm at, like the business side of it and all of that, then definitely hit that subscribe button with a little um, bell because in the summer, I plan on doing like a ton of that stuff, like kind of getting ready for all of that. Um, and then you guys, I know I'm still talking and probably nobody's really still watching. Like give me a thumbs up emoji or like give me a, um, like a plant emoji or something down below if you're still watching. But anyway, I, um, yeah, so I'm sorry, I'm very scatterbrained, but this channel is going to have different things like me going to bigger events. Um, I can do garden tours. I can do plant unboxings when I have them. I just keep staring at this white fusion. I just, I love you. I love you so much. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I can do stuff like that. And then obviously the art side, which this will come. I just need to do that other stuff. You know I'm back like I never left.